I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. If you're watching this video, you already understand the importance of monitoring the tires on your RV. When it comes to something this important, I want the best tire pressure monitoring system to do the job. Minder Research offers the best system on the market along with outstanding customer support. Today we're going to install the Tire Minder TM77 model TPMS on our RV. Let's start the installation right now. The TM77 allows for constant monitoring of tire pressure and temperature. It can wirelessly monitor up to 22 tires. There are multiple alerts built into the monitor warning you of things like rapid air loss, slow leaks, high temperatures, and more. The new TM77's display is over one inch larger than the previous TireMinder TM66 model. That's an impressive 40% increase. With a nearly three and a half inch diagonal display, it's the largest and clearest display available. In the box, TireMinder TM77 monitor, six TireMinder transmitters, one signal booster, one micro USB cable and DC adapter, 12 CR1632 batteries, this is one extra set, six O-rings, these are extra two, six locking nuts, one locking wrench with valve core tool, one mounting bracket, one carry-all pouch, one tire minder TM77 manual, and one warranty card. Regardless of who installs the system, it's imperative that you read the manual. You need to understand how the system works so you can have peace of mind and be safe on the road. If you have any questions or need help, visit www.minderresearch.com for additional information. The first step is to check and inflate the tires to the manufacturer's recommended inflation pressure. This needs to be done when the tires are cold. Checking tires cold means you check the pressure before moving the vehicle more than one mile. It is also recommended you have your vehicle professionally weighed when it is fully loaded for travel and adjust the tire pressure based on actual loads. The TM77 comes with a transmission booster. The booster features simple power and ground red and black wires. It can be attached to any power source that provides an always on 12 or 24 volt power. Do not skip this step. Tip. The booster not only provides greater signal distance, it also helps eliminate signal interference, which is especially high in our ever-growing wireless world. The monitor should arrive partially charged, so you can start programming right away. Press and release the top button to turn it on. If the unit does not light up immediately, just plug it into a live 12-volt power outlet using the DC adapter. You can also plug the USB cable into any USB port. The first thing we are going to do is install the CR1632 batteries, plus side up, on each transmitter. To remove the cap, turn the cap counterclockwise. Install the CR1632 batteries. Remember not to over tighten the caps. It only needs to be hand tight. After the batteries are installed in each transmitter, press and release the power button on the top of the monitor. The TM77 will light up with a blue backlit display. Notice the M in the center of the screen. M, or monitoring mode, is the mode you will need to be in to receive updates and alerts. This will be 99% of the time after completing the initial setup. Restarting the monitor will always bring you back to the monitoring mode. Now we can attach the transmitters to the valve stems and learn them to your monitor. With an M showing on the screen, press and hold the right and left buttons for five seconds. When all 22 tire positions appear, let the buttons go. You will see an L on the screen. The L stands for learn. Two things to note in the L mode are the solid blinking circle and the red light at the top. The solid blinking circle indicates the current tire position and the red light tells you no transmitter has been learned to that location yet. To learn a transmitter, press the right or left button to scroll to the position you want once there, attach a transmitter to the tire's valve stem. The light will turn green within 5 to 20 seconds and you will see that tire's pressure on the top of the monitor. 
Using the right or left buttons, move to the next tire position you wish to monitor. Once again, you will have a red light which will turn green. Repeat this procedure until you have installed all the transmitters. You must now exit from the L mode. Press and hold the right and left buttons until the 22 tires disappear and you see the letter M on the screen. Now you only see those tire positions to which you have previously learned transmitters. Don't worry about the red light at the top of the screen. That will go away after the next step. Now it's time to teach your monitor what pressures you run in your rig. From the M mode, press and hold the center button for five seconds. When you hear a beep or see the letter P appear on the screen, let go of the button. In this mode, you will raise or lower the baseline pressures, customizing the monitor to your needs. Use the right or left buttons to raise or lower the pressure and use the center button to move from tire to tire. After you have set the last tire's baseline, press and hold the center button for five seconds. When the P changes to M, you are finished. This is an important step. You can read the manual for more information. You are good to go. Press the right or left button to see each tire's pressure and temperature. This is what you will be able to do before you get on the road or at any stop along the way. Now let's briefly look at some alerts you might see. The system will check for the following alerts every five seconds. Rapid leak, slow leak, low pressure, high pressure, high temperature. Another great feature is the multi-vehicle disconnect. The TM77 allows you to switch between vehicles without the need to reprogram. You can use up to three different vehicles on the same monitor. So if you want to switch from your boat or tow vehicle to your motorhome, simply press a couple buttons and you're ready to go. Another feature I really like is called auto scroll. You simply press the top button and the TM77 will automatically scroll to each learn tire position every six seconds. Your RV depends on the air pressure in the tires and the TM77 will let you know what's happening with those tires at all times. This video covers the installation, but it's important you take a few minutes and read the manual thoroughly. It contains the TM77's advanced features, lots of details, hints, facts, and suggestions regarding tire pressure safety. The manual will also help you understand how and why the TM77 does what it does, and more importantly, why it may be alerting you to a tire issue. To purchase TM77, visit a Camping World Supercenter near you, or go to www.campingworld.com. Happy camping!